through the translator uh, here uh, in Mission Control. Progress now less than 100 meters away from docking, closing at a rate now of about five-tenths of a meter per second. At the time of docking, uh, at the time that the forward docking probe um, slips into the docking port of the pier's docking compartment, the rate of closure will be a very glacial one-tenth of a meter per second. We crossed the 80-meter boundary, uh, range rate 0, decimal 45, copy. The target is uh, practically in the center, copy. Do you have a TV image? Precise alignment uh, being reported as uh, Yuri Malenchenko reports back to Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside Moscow. Now 60 meters separating of the progress from its destination. 19 by course data. Up. Target is in the middle. No crosshair misalignment. Less of the half of the width is in the yaw channel. Copy. Inaudible. Uh, range approaching 10 meters. Range. 10 meters now separating uh, the two spacecraft. And closing, see the roll. A few degrees, but the roll is decreasing. No crosshair misalignment, there is a bias, 0 0.7. Crossing over southern Europe, less than 10 meters separating the two craft, standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Uh, we still have a little bit in row, uh, no crosshair misalignment and less than half degree in your copy. Good alignment reported. Uh, the range is about three meters, slight roll bias. Copy. No crosshair misalignment. Uh, there is a tendency for a uh, roll uh, decrease. Everything is nominal. Okay, we feel the contact. Contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 2.14 a.m. Central Time. We monitor the capture. The International Space Station now in free drift. All thrusters uh, currently disabled, while the relative motion between the two vehicles dampens out. Again, an early arrival of holiday gifts. One day after Christmas for the residents of the International Space Station, docking occurring at 2.14 a.m. Central Time over Southern Europe. Do not deactivate operation mode yet. Copy. Here in the flight control room uh, at the Johnson Space Center, the visiting vehicle officer, Tony Foti, reports that the progress docking probe has begun to retract as planned. 
uh, that uh, will enable a hard mate uh, between the two vehicles and will enable the initiation of the uh, latching of hooks and latches uh, between both sides of the docking interface uh, to complete uh, today's docking. At that point, uh, the crew will uh, press ahead uh, with a period of leak checks at the docking interface between the two vehicles before the uh, hatch to the progress is opened uh, at about 5.30 central time this morning. Following that, uh, the crew will begin to unload its cargo, uh, which again uh, includes two and a half tons of food, fuel, supplies, and holiday gifts, including almost 2,000 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen, and just under 3,000 pounds of dry cargo that uh, would include uh, spare parts, life support system equipment, experiment hardware, and again the holiday gifts for the crew. The progress systems will be deactivated about 6.30 central time this morning. The docking mechanism will be removed by the crew. They uh, then will press ahead for a regular day's worth of activities that will include physical exercise, some experiment work, systems maintenance, the crew will begin an extended 10-hour sleep period at 3.30 Central Time today and will be awakened on Thursday at 1.30 a.m. Central Time to resume its normal complement of activities. Loud and clear. Copy. We also copy loud and clear. Let's start working uh, on page 27. Copy page 27. This progress is uh, scheduled to remain at the International Space Station through the early February time frame. And once again, uh, okay, the progress's arrival at the Piers docking compartment is designed so that the aft end of the Zvezda service module can remain open and available for the scheduled launch in February of the European Space Agency's Jules Verne Automated Transfer Vehicle, yet another supply ship even larger in nature than this progress uh, that is scheduled uh, to be launched from the French Guiana launch site for Ariane Spas, that is the launch uh, vehicle operator for the European Space Agency, the Jules Verne to be launched uh, aboard an Ariane 5 launch vehicle uh, in the mid-February time frame for about a 16-day rendezvous and demonstration test uh, time frame that will test all of its systems before the ATV, as it is known, or the Automated Transfer Vehicle, arrives at the aft port of the Zvezda service module. Activate BPS initial. Send BPS initial, command by Cruise, acknowledgement, deactivate, command transfer. Copy. Deactivated command transfer. We see the uh, external indicators on, and also see indicators uh, uh, mode in to receiver backup. The floodlight is off. Deactivating operation. Operation is off. External indicators are off. Internal are on, and we're activating. Uh, in the control, BPS control panel initial, send the command, back off plus X, back off uh, go, deactivating the network. Network is off, uh, the power of the hand controllers is off, indicators are off, deactivating transmission, deactivating uh, from the comp panel one, deactivating line Re-deactivated. Send in command to deactivate the TV. Copy. To uh, recap, a very smooth automated docking for the Progress 27 cargo ship, arriving a few minutes ahead of schedule, docking at 2.14 a.m. Central Time, 3.14 Eastern Time, as uh, 
the progress on the International Space Station flew over southern Europe at an altitude of about 220 statute miles.